Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with a video about what I think is uh, my favorite, or at least one of my favorite medic weapons. This is the Outloading 8.25 Extended. Now, I very rarely play medic, as most of you guys already know, but uh, one of you guys, or several of you guys, have been a little bit bored with my consistency of playing only Assault. And fact of the matter is, the weapon I was asked to try out, it was not really this one. It was another outloading weapon called Outloading Marksman. And I only decided to play one life with it. I'll show it to you here. Wrecked! Wait, I have, I have used this. I have used this weapon at some point. I, you know what? It has five bullets in the magazine. This is more for a, uh, for a more laid-back uh, playstyle. This is not for my uh, run-and-gun type playstyle. And not as a uh, uh, aggressive playstyle. Do they die from two headshots or was, was he hurt? We have taken objective. Too much reloading with this gun. Now the way I play is that I have a very aggressive playstyle and I always find myself in situations when I have multiple enemies against me. I always go for the flags, and it's very common that I'm the first one to whatever flag we're attacking. Uh, it's three It's three shots to kill. Ah, uh, this is not a good gun for me. But thanks for the suggestion. Oh, even hipfire works. Now, I do understand that it would be very tempting for a lot of people to come to the stream and suggest me to try this weapon and that weapon and do this and that. Most likely, will I just say no. I play the way I play and I choose that myself, so please don't be offended. And speaking of how people play, it's kind of interesting to me how so many people give up uh, on being revived very, very quickly. And I'm probably just as guilty of this myself. But when you see a medic being close to you, many times he has to take his fights first before he can revive, because otherwise both him and you are going to be killed right after that revive anyway. Yeah, useless past 10 meters, right? Now, one of the things that was pointed out during the stream was that this weapon is a close range weapon and it's more or less useless past 10 meters. Uh, I've, I've used this weapon quite a bit before, and I know that, yeah, it is a close-range weapon, but it can this definitely be used no far way. beyond 10 meters, regardless of what the stats say. I hate all the points I lose by uh, running outside of the capture zone for getting the few kills there. Now normally, the way I play here is something that I would probably not recommend for a medic. Well, it depends a little bit, and I guess you can make uh, a few exceptions, especially on the maps where there are not that many vehicles. However, if you play on a vehicle map, you probably want the assault players to have this type of playstyle that you see me having here. However, on this particular map, and also on maps like Argonne Forest and a few others, it works really well to replace the assault players with both the medic and the support class. I'm not sure how well it works with the scout class, but there are probably people that can make that work as well. Ah, burnt. Oh, the bomber killed me. Alright. See, on a side note, by the way, I also want to say that the opacity a problem that we've seen when it comes to the icon above players' heads, especially spotted enemies, is supposedly a bug. I can't say that this has been confirmed by DICE, but apparently they are going yeah, to fix it. Unfortunately though, there are plenty of other bugs that should have been fixed a long, long time ago. And you'll see me bring that up a bit uh, later on in this video. Now, quick question. How many of you guys have shot down a bomber with this weapon? Hmm, pretty happy with this gun. Это тебе аптечка. 
Are you? Am I not supposed to be able to? Oh. Ah, too many. <laughs> that looked funny. We have taken objective. Yeah, the high fire rate is a problem with this one. Yeah, what you see here is what we normally call the jerky bug. I have no idea why they still haven't fixed it, and it's one of at least 10 bugs that's been bothering me tremendously over the time that I've been playing this game. Other ones are problems to the bipods for the AT rocket gun, and animation bugs preventing you from jumping over walls, and a few issues related to proning. It's not, it's not doing that when you're aimed on sight though. Maybe that this is a nerf to trench weapons. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, by the way, this jerky bug that I'm talking about, uh, does this happen on console? I, I actually don't know that. Now, a few months back it was only triggered by revives, but nowadays it can be triggered for, I don't know, some other reasons as well. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy a little bit of medic gameplay. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Аптечка, используй с толком. Это тебе аптечка. Вот лови, аптечка. No, not a tank again. No, I say I, I, he went for the he went for the the sentry and he got me. <laughs> I have the same amount of kills as the sentry with the. Uh... Where is this guy? <laughs> Everyone's waving there.
Oh, no, why did I pr Why did my f character prone? I did not hit the prone key. Oh, that's right, I forgot. This is a game made by Dice. <laughs> Teaching how to aim with Parkinson's <laughs> sponsored by Dice. <laughs> I have to stop reading your comments because I can't play when I, re when I start laughing like this.